what is up welcome back to another episode on this channel my name is charity lawrence in this very episode i'll be inspiring you with the story of Tony lawani Tony lawani is a popular nigerian fashion consultant she's a celebrity stylist and she's also a fashion designer she is what we call a tenacious entrepreneur she's a trendsetter you know all these people that set trends of fashion designs and all that Tony lawani is one of them Tony lawani is what we call a serial entrepreneur she was born on the 1st of March 1982 in Ekiti State. Tui attended St. John's College for her secondary education in Lagos and then she went on to study English language at University of Lagos. At the point in time I realized this is not my calling. This is not what I want to do. And I was mixing like uh, skin ingredients for my mom. She mm -hmm. used to uh, do some herbal products in the house. So I picked up on it. People really used to ask me, what do you use on your skin? It's so nice. I'm like, you know what? I have to create a product out of this. Mm. So I started selling my skin products in school. Then mm. I would cut up my clothes, put paints on them, be creative. I had a mock back in the day. Oh, wow. The people used to ask me, because I lived in London for a while, they used to ask me, wow, Tiana, who makes your clothes? Sorry, Toyin, not Tiana. Then my <laughs> daughter is Tiana. Who makes your clothes? I'm like, myself. I want it. I want it. So I give me money. And I used to go to Yaba Market. There was this tailor that was so tacky. It wasn't that good, but mm. I used to give it to him. I'll stay with him. You make it. I'll iron them. You make it look nice. The students will love them. Mm. I'm like, you know what? I have to take this serious. I believe mm. in life. Like, Everything you do, you have to get a degree for it. Even if it's mm -hmm. air, skin, I believe people take you more serious when they see that you have a certificate to show for it, True. that you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I sent myself to Upper Benson Institute. My mom didn't know that. She was like, no, it's going to distract your education. You should focus on your studies, finish, then you can do whatever you want to do. I'm like, mm. So I didn't tell her. So I enrolled, I was juggling University of Lagos with Upper Benson Institute. I was wow. training on makeup, air, skin, then immediately I finished from Upper Benson. Yeah, I opened up my spa along Akoka Road. I was uh, 17 at the time. I started, mm. I got into uni like 16. So wow. I started everything too fast, too quick. Then before I knew it, I moved to the islands, set up uh, an eight man business on the island at Oinjola Emas. That time was it an empire like this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all have to respect our humble beginning. So at the age of 17, she had already started up her own company. Tony Lawani believes that people take you more serious when you have a certificate backing a particular skill or talent you claim to have. So when you say, oh, I, I'm, I'm talented about, uh, you know how to design clothes and you're just designing, you know, people don't take you too serious. Right? They pay you, but they don't pay you as well as you deserve. But when you go on to get an education to back that talent you have, like she did, she went to Los Angeles School of Fashion, she went to Exodus Hair School in India, she went to Carlton Beauty School in London, she went to John Yim Beauty School in Korea, she went to all these places just to get knowledge and the certificate backing that knowledge and even to learn the business side of the skill and she came back to nigeria and started making money not long after that she moved to her current place called tiana's empire tiana's empire consists of several businesses owned by her in tiana's empire she has the barbin salon she has hair salon she has a boutique she has uh, the place she produces her clothes she has an e tree she has a skincare line she has where she sells her skincare products she has lots of other businesses all in one plaza she said the wisdom behind it was that a customer could have all their needs at a particular place so a particular customer may want to buy skincare products and also make her hair or take her child to the barbing salon or eat before she goes home so instead of going from one place to the other the customer just patronizes the other businesses remember that behind every glory that you see out there there's a story she started her business with 150,000 it was actually the money that parents and siblings and uncles and aunties gave to her that she saved over time that she used to start up her business that's 150,000 there was a time when Toyin Lawani lost lots of money and she said it was because her organizational structure was not in place. She used her business to help people by employing family and friends that had no jobs or that didn't have good jobs. And it didn't work out well for her, so she had to reorganize. 
she had to get professionals for the different roles. Right now, her business is set up in a way that each business has its own manager. So the barbing salon has its own manager, the hair salon has its own manager, the boutique has its own manager, the photo studio has its own manager, the makeup studio has its own manager. Now all these managers report to the general manager and the general manager reports to her. One of the challenges she faced in the course of running her business was when she employed a teacher to come teach her students fashion designers on some things they needed to do after the course. 10 of the students left with the teacher. So she had to re-strategize because at that time it was already close to the festive period and she had lots of orders that she had already taken and she was meant to deliver. So she had to work tirelessly in order to meet up with those orders. One lesson that she learned from that whole incident was that you don't hire people of a particular tribe only, you mix them up. Tui said one secret that has kept her business flourishing is the fact that she renders good customer care services to all her customers. So whenever people patronize her, she calls them back for feedback on how they were treated and they give response and she treats the response accordingly. She keeps a record of all her customers and send them text messages and gifts during their birthdays. So this kind of attitude encourages the customers to keep coming to patronize her. Queen Lawani is well traveled and lots of the things that she has been able to do today, lots of the improvements she's been able to make in her business is as a result of she being well traveled. Tony has spoken severally on how she had volunteered to do various jobs without being paid a penny because she wanted to build her portfolio or she wanted to get recognition. She wanted to get referrals. She's worked with top celebrities like Tiwa Savi, Funke Akindele Bello, Whiskey. She's worked with a whole lot of celebrities. She said one of her happiest moments in her career so far. She styled one of Sierra's music videos, Love Like a Movie. It was the fashion designer that was in charge of it. Tony Lawani is a very creative boss chick. She's currently married to Shagon Welts. He's a photographer and he's her best friend. And they have three children. In summary, the first thing I would love you to grasp from Twin Lawani's story today is that whatever it is that you love to do or whatever it is you're doing right now that people are complimenting, you should think on how you could get the business side out of it. If you know how to talk very well, look at Toke Makenwa. She's making money from talking. Toke can talk. Now, she didn't start like this. I'm sure definitely growing up, people were telling her, hey, Toke, you can talk too much. Toke, you can talk too much. And she was so wise enough to go into the line of what she loves doing or what she was able to do. And she's doing so well now. Toke is talking on show marks. Toke is one of the wealthiest talk show hosts I know. And that is just one out of many. So anything you know you like, anything you know you're doing that people are complimenting, think of how you can take it to the business side. So another thing you should grasp from this is that whatever talent you have, try to get to the educational background of that talent. That's what I would say. If so, if you're very good at fashion design, you you know you're good at it. Like you can sleep and wake up, you enjoy doing it, and you're very creative. Don't just say you are creative and put it there. No, if you have the means, travel out, travel to good institutions learn what they know learn better ways of doing that thing that you're doing very well so that when you come back and you put it integrate it with your own creativity you stand out and people will not downpay you or, or pay you less they pay you what you're worth thanks for watching today's episode please remember to subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next episode next week till then have fun